What's up, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine? Welcome to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, I know you up in here too. Now, I got nine cards spread out here. And I was sitting here shuffling the cards. Because the majority of my readings are random. I do have channel messages. But this is a random reading. And as I was sitting here just channeling some energy, the sudden wealth in reverse came out. And I then the private investigators or somebody spying on you came out. Then the court card came out. Then after the court card came out, somebody false is about to be, you about to find out that somebody's been false. Okay. Then the heart of the energy is a snake in reverse. Okay. Then somebody's wish isn't being granted. A wishing well in reverse. Money in reverse. Then there's something going on in another city or another state. Something to do with an attorney. This attorney, you can't tell him nothing. This attorney can say he travels the world. He's traveled the world. He has a lot of ideas. He knows how to scam people. He knows how to cause delays in the court system. He's under a spiritual attack. This attorney. Because mm -hmm. he's a snake and he's doing dark things. But the funny thing is, the first three cards that I pulled, it's the sudden wealth in reverse, the attorney, and the court. So, what that means for those of you that's in going through some sort of court situation, the attorney on the opposite team that's going against you, the person that's going against you, their attorney is a snake. Their attorney did some sort of shit to cause some setbacks in your life, to cause some tears and delays. Had you crying over some money, okay? These people, or this attorney and whoever else he got with him, you know they'll the attorney, they have to hire this amount of people to do this and do that and do this. And before your case is over, they done stole a whole bunch of motherfucking money from you. Or they should be just charging you 500 for something. They charging you 15000 for some shit. Thieves. That's all the fuck they are. A bunch of thieves that will go in there, file all the paperwork for you, Make it seem like it's taking them a long ass time, but these are some smart motherfuckers who then graduated from Harvard and and all of them, you know, big ass fucking um, colleges and shit, universities and all of that. They're snakes, and they know how to fuck over the system. But see, in somebody's case out there, this snake, he ain't about to get some money. Mm-mm. So he may try to return to you, okay? He's going to be exposed, okay? And this is attorney that's not from your city or your state. Or they didn't file some sort of paperwork or something in another city or another state. This isn't, he's an older man, okay? But he's a snake. 
he know how he knows how to fuck over with the system and take people's wishes down the fucking drain. Take their wishes away. Cause storms. Lying on paperwork and shit. Mm-hmm. But he thinking he about to get some get some um, money. He's not. Mm-mm. He's not. Because he's a fucking snake. And you can't tell this attorney nothing. You, They know more about your own life than they know than, than you. Pull from the other day. Oh, oh, and by the way, also, this snake is getting karma. All the work he put in, all the toil and labor he went in to steal from you, from whoever that's going against you. They ain't about to get shit. They ain't about to get shit. Because they was being false. Okay. Now, here's the energy out here of somebody getting a proposal. Somebody proposed to you. The if, if some of you, this could be a court case for marriage. And somebody you was married to, they're, they're uh attorney hired a private investigator. They're getting karma, too. They not getting what they thought they was going to get. Because the universe don't like their motherfucking ass. All they was doing was causing blockages and obstacles in your life. Okay? And they still trying to create them. But see, by them causing obstacles in their life, and you're trying to create obstacles in your life, all they're doing, this lawyer is getting more and more and more money. Okay? And here's the energy out here of um, somebody praying, but they ain't going to get no, they not getting no money. They ain't because they, they was trying to be sneaky and be deceptive and they got caught trying to cause blockages in your life, trying to keep you from getting what it is that's due to you, that's owed to you. They trying to take it, but they going to get caught. Thank you, spirit. Mm -hmm. The universe don't like them. They don't. They don't like them. Mm -mm. This person is not going to have any, you know, um, blessings from the universe. They wasn't in the giving energy. And the universe been watching them. Okay. They've been watching them be a snake. And they don't like it. The universe, the divine, been watching this person. Trying to create blockages from you, trying to steal money from you, and then have the nerves to be praying to them. Him. Like really? The 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 most high has reached a judgment on this person. Mm -hmm. They don't like him. They do not like this person. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Somebody's ex. They're getting karma for that. They're dealing with their ex. She can be older than them. And the karma is that they're getting, they didn't, they, uh, this is a bridge they didn't want to cross. Mm -hmm. Their karma is them being in poverty. They're in despair. They're homeless. They broke your heart. And they got caught being sneaky. Mm hmm. You found out that they were still talking to their ex. This broke your heart. And if they was living with you, you kicked them out. Or if you was living with them, you moved out. 
They could have been in the energy of, okay, this is my house. If I want to talk to my ex, my baby mama, whoever, I can if I want to. If you don't like it, you can get the fuck out. This could have put you in despair. Oh, and he's getting karma because he brought his ex out of, out of uh, poverty. She's older. She ain't saying nothing. But this could have broke your heart or his ex could be, her heart could be broken. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Tell me more. Aquarius energy. Okay, we have some spell work out here. We have Scorpio energy. This person wasn't treating your relationship like it was a relationship because they were still dealing with their ex. And this person wasn't showing no, re no concern for the relationship because they were still dealing with their ex. Their ex could either be a Scorpio or she could either be a Aquarius. But there's also the energy of someone's spell work didn't work on a Scorpio. They tried to cause death to her. That's um, I feel the energy because I'm Scorpio, and um, it's some they it's it's an energy of somebody out there trying to throw spell work at somebody for to break their uh, relationship up. So it's the ex. The ex is um, throwing spell work. With your relationship, if you're if you're a uh, Scorpio, Scorpio energy, death in the middle. Some of you, that's a Scorpio. You ended some shit and you moving on. You leaving a situation. You got your bags packed, ready to go. Somebody's ex is out here. She's watching you leave, but she's not saying nothing. It's an Aquarius energy out here. There's also the energy of. Somebody throwing death magic towards a Scorpio, okay? Um, they could be throwing literal death magic or they could be throwing magic to make your your relationship end or wanting you to be brokenhearted. Now, whoever was throwing this magic at this energy at you, Divine Feminine, you don't have to be a Scorpio, but these are the energy. Scorpio, you could just be ending something, okay? If you're not a Scorpio, you can be going through a death or a transformation, but whoever, whoever threw this energy at you, um, they're concerned. Now, it could be you being concerned over ending something with somebody. But somebody's karmic is out here and she's watching you leave. Why is this star here? Tell me about the star. Who's the star? You could be standing out being creative. It's a Pisces energy. So we have Pisces out here, Scorpio out here, and an Aquarius. Somebody's heart is broken. And this this uh this karmic energy, she just uh she terminated a pregnancy. She had an abortion. Okay. Or her money is not flowing right. And she's looking. She's either looking at the fact that her money ain't flowing right. Or she's looking at the fact that she just terminated a baby. Okay. She could be a stripper. A dancer. She could be an Aquarius or a Scorpio. She can either ride a motorcycle or horses, a bike, something.
she terminated the pregnancy because she found out that your masculine wasn't in love with her or he broke her heart. And he didn't want to be in a relationship with her. You hear the music, somebody around you could have music playing real loud. Somebody is not getting a message. Now, you could be showing self-love to yourself right now, Divine Feminine. Um, you caught somebody trying to steal from you. Or there's somebody around you that uh, they could be uh, get, getting accused of stealing and they didn't steal. They could uh, be um, saying that they stole something. I mean, being accused and they didn't. Or somebody could have got caught stealing. You may be getting a message about this, about somebody um, getting caught stealing. But this is all karma from them doing spell work. And right here, you just don't have the strength to deal with this person no more because they treated you colder than a polar bear's toenails. Okay? You didn't find there was no stability or growth. There was no family tree with this person. This person had a false persona. They wasn't who they said they were. And if you was married to this person, you ended the marriage with them. And you was dealing with the narcissist, the wealthy man out here. Okay? Everybody else call this wealthy man the wealthy man. I call him the narcissist. And this narcissist, he's right up, right up under this uh, tree of life for you. Trying to steal from your tree of life. Okay? But he got caught. He wasn't telling nobody, wasn't gossiping to nobody. He just walking around with a false persona that you wasn't his main female. And this person ain't going to change, so you just had the strength. You didn't have the strength to deal with them because you know they're not going to change. So you made a choice and you realized this person is not no good luck to you and you could have moved on, okay? And now this person wants to spend time with you. But there is a third-party situation. There is chaos and conflict. And people in the community know secrets has come out, okay, that you wasn't this person's main female and now they're coming to apologize to you, okay? This person is sick and not telling you. They're thinking about you. Some of them is looking at your pictures. But you're going down the path where you're supposed to be going. They're sitting here thinking. Somebody, they wanted you to have a child with them, but you you had a term, you, you didn't terminate the baby. You um, you lost the baby and it was a miscarriage. Now, when I see the, the, the termination card comes up for a pregnancy and I have a, a miscarriage, there are two different cards. When you terminate the baby, you're, you're, you're terminating, okay? You know that something bad, there's a reason why you're not having that baby, okay? And when spirit takes a baby from you, he's taking it because the person you're pregnant by, he don't he don't think that you should have a baby with that child, with that person. Okay, you it may be things about that person that you don't know that spirit knows that maybe don't don't won't won't mix with your spirit. Okay, so God will take that blood away. He won't let you won't let that person's blood boil inside of you or grow inside of you. Okay, because spirit knows what you need in your life and what you don't. So when you have a miscarriage, just think that's that spirit, you know, giving you a a, a break on something. Because you're pregnant by this person, you may be get with a, a motherfucker that's very controlling. And that's what this is. It's a, a controlling as narcissists out of here. I feel sorry for the ladies who got kids by them. The ones with the money, they whine and dine you and then they get you pregnant and think you're supposed to stay in the kitchen pregnant, tired. Now you don't want to do nothing. They didn't got you pregnant. They calling you lazy. You don't want to get up. But before that, they was feeding your ass and, you know, treating you, doing everything nice. And now you're pregnant because they got you where they at. Don't quit your job. Okay. So that's a whole nother video about, about letting your job go. Because then when you let your job go and when you're dealing with the narcissist, this wealthy man out here, so whoever this energy is, you're dealing with the motherfucker that's a control freak that wants to control your money, tell you, um, you you get to the point to where 
you start, you know, not telling them nothing about your money because you don't trust them. You ask them anything about their money or how they spend their money or what they spend their money on. If you pocket check them, they feel all offensive like you all in their business, but they want to be all in your business. And they manipulate you because they say it in a sneaky way for you to get, for them to get the information out of you. You better wake up to that shit. Okay? Because they're secretly being deceptive. Right here. It's, it's telling them right here. This narcissist. Who ain't in love or he broke your heart. He's not a great fortune to you. All he's going to do is cause delays in your life. Okay? Have you crying and shit. Then they'll withdraw their energy from you. They won't have sex with you. Everybody in your community knows it. They ain't going to marry you. You're expecting them to marry you. And some of you, you have moved out from this person or you kicked them out of your house. Okay. Others of you, this is this is this has something to do with an attorney. Okay. They gonna get they gonna they're whoever it is, if this is a husband you was with and you divorcing them, or if this is some family shit and it's some court stuff. All I'ma say is they attorney then did some crooked shit. And he about to be exposed. And he ain't about to get the money that he thought he was going to get. Mm -mm. He's getting karma. Okay. And somebody is sick and not saying it. Or somebody is lying saying they're sick. Or they're not telling this attorney that they're sick. They could be them put themselves in a position where they know that their sickness can will cause them from not being able to do something. When it comes to this attorney. But this person ain't telling. Okay. And this person is low life. They're not going to change. They ain't going to change. And this person be, could be trying to message you right now. And here's the energy of uh, uh, somebody's money may not be flowing right. Um, this is this is determination of a pregnancy. See, when you when you terminate the pregnancy, you don't want that baby. Why did why did you want why did you terminate the pregnancy? Um, cause the father don't have a job. Um, cause the father cheated on you. Um, cause the father you found out is married. Um, you found that you thought th this was gonna be your first baby daddy, and you found out he had other kids he didn't tell you about. Um, whatever the case may be, you terminated this pregnancy. Okay. Because you knew deep down in your soul that you didn't want to have a baby with this child. Now, for those of you that had a miscarriage, because it's a miscarriage out here and it's a termination. Now, um, what I just heard now, heard now, some of you could have been pregnant by this person before and you terminated the baby. And now you are um, pregnant by them. You had, a, you had a miscarriage. The reason that happened is because just like you, the same reason you terminated the baby the first time. Not saying that spirit likes you terminating the baby. I'm not saying that. Just think, just think logically. Logically, you 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 terminated one baby. Has this person changed? Are they the same? And you pregnant by them? You think a baby is gonna change you? Because um, months ago or years ago you. You lost a baby or you, you got a you this person made you feel, you know, real bad because you terminated the baby. But you know your reason why that they wasn't going to do shit, that they wasn't going to be the father that they was going to that they were supposed to be, that they had third parties or they was cheating on you and blah, blah, this and blah, blah, that. But now a few years later, maybe you didn't got back with this person or months and you uh you then got pregnant and then you get down off into the to the pregnancy and you end up miscarrying. That spirit saving you. Because the same reason you terminated the baby is the same reason spirit gave you a, a term the same reason he gave you a miscarriage. 
is what you don't see is what spirit sees. This person, like I said, let me see. He's the snake. So, of course, spirit going to take that baby. Because that means this person is somebody who had multiple partners. You'll be at home taking care of the baby by yourself. You'll be having baby mama drama. He may got another baby mama out there. And she'll be trying to fight with you and all of that shit. And you'll be, taught, you'll be caught up in this fucking... This third party ass shit. Where is that? This shit. Same rope. This is you up in here. This is your person. And his two people. Okay? You out of that shit. Now, if you had if you had a baby, this could be two, he could have two other baby mamas. But you spirit saved you. Okay? You ain't caught up in that drama. See, and right here, this is this is my my miss. This is the miscarriage card, and this is the term the abortion card. Okay, they both are down. So that means this baby wasn't supposed to come into this world. Not with that person. You 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 made the decision. You made the right decision, and then you got pregnant again. And spirit is telling is reminding you. We're not, we're, we're, we ain't, uh -uh. it's something about you that they don't want you having a baby with this person. So don't even try. And if you, if, if it's meant for you to have a baby with this person and you stop trying, then it'll happen. Okay. Simple as that. Don't try because they'll take you. Let spirit allow that to happen. But that's, that's a warning sign. That's a red flag to you. That's a red flag. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there, Divine Feminine. If this reading resonated with you and I helped you in any kind of way, give me a big old fat thumbs up to donate some of that beautiful ass energy to my channel. All right, peace.